Now back to the butterflies. Okay, well, I don't even have the butterfly information for that. We're heading out to Arlington. Our Liz Campbell's going to tell us what's up. Hey, Mark and Eden. We are live today out at the beautiful Tree Hill Nature Center. It is absolutely amazing. Joining me is the executive director, Mark Mumal. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. And we are on part of the nature trail that goes throughout the center. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a walk here to show people what there is to offer in this area. That's and good. tell me a little bit about what is to our left. Now we're coming up on the Arlington Community Garden. We provide food for the Arlington Food Pantry. This year, we've donated almost 2,000 pounds to the people. That is amazing. I see lots of great plants and I'm sure spices. But the main thing we want to talk about, Mark, is butterflies. So if we can turn the camera over this direction, over on this other side, this is your butterfly garden that you have year round. We'll get to the festival in one moment, but first tell me a little bit about this butterfly garden. This is a butterfly garden that was sponsored by JA. It's a water efficiency butterfly garden. uses very little water. We plant native plants that attract butterflies. You can see there's several flying around right now. Mm -hmm. And let's see, I'm trying to spot some so we can make, oh, every now and then there's we've seen a few. Let's see. Fire. I'm trying to show you guys these beautiful butterflies. They can be hard to catch. But Mark says that you can see the most when it's not as windy. Yes, the wind does have an effect on the one right there just blew up. But when it's windy, you don't see as many. But if you were to come here and visit the center and spend a little bit of time here, you could see several butterflies during, several hundred butterflies during your visit. Okay, and let's take a little walk through this butterfly garden. And then now I want to start talking about this weekend's butterfly festival. It's going to be the 15th annual, yes. and it's going to be really exciting. So tell me a little bit about it as we're winding our way through this garden. Well, our title sponsor is Joe's Face Grasher. has been very good to us over the years. And like you said, this is our 15th annual. You can see some of the flags, some of the banners, and so forth. During the festival, we'll have music, we'll have entertainment, there'll be a bounce house, and then at the end of the festival, you can see on the platform, we'll have a butterfly release at 3.30. I'll release 500 butterflies into the crowd, and they'll go up and back down into the crowd, and everybody will get up close and personal contact with, with the butterflies. 500. 500. 500 monarch butterflies. And yeah. they're going to be coming from right there where you see butterfly release. Right. I have a special container and a small little fan on the bottom that just eases them up, and when I open the top, they just come out naturally, go up and come back down, and then they'll hang out over here at the garden. So it's like this garden, but times 500. Times 500. <laughs> they'll stay in that garden, and then they'll, they'll fly all throughout the center, and they'll be here for several weeks. And then eventually they'll move on. And I want to show a couple of these fun decorations over here. That is a huge butterfly that you've been setting up today. So you've got a lot of exciting decor. You've got the butterfly theme, but you also have some other exciting activities happening this Saturday. What else will you have besides butterflies? We do. We'll have music in our amphitheater behind you. We'll also have an animal show, a live animal show that will be presented by my staff. Mm -hmm. We'll have different activities involving children, book readings, and different kind of hands-on touch type programming. Sounds like a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. How can people get tickets and what are the hours for the event? You can buy tickets at the front mm -hmm. and the hours are 10 to 4 and the release will be at 3.30. It sounds like a blast. The amphitheater he mentioned is going to be right there with the live music, food, drinks, family fun. They're also going to have vendors for adults so it's not just for children. No. No. And final words to people on why they should make it out here, Mark. It, well, if the, we the weather is going to be fantastic, it's going to be nice and sunny, there's going to be butterflies everywhere, it's going to be a fantastic day. Um, I just encourage everybody to come out and see the butterfly release. Last year we had a little bit of a weather problem, this year it's going to be great, butterflies are going to be everywhere. So I just encourage everybody to come on out. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank it's going to be fantastic. Make your way out to this nature center. It's great. It's in the Arlington area. You can find everything on their website, which is www.treehill.org. Thank you so much. You. Back to you, Mark and Eden. And once again, the Butterfly Festival is happening this Saturday from 10 to 4 at the Tree Hill Nature Center in Arlington. For more details, head over to treehill.org.